In this video, I'm going to show you how I use SCAL 6 and the SkyCut creasing tool to score and cut a box on the Caesar Romeo cutter. To install the creasing tool into the Romeo or Juliet, you need to use something to give a little bit of distance between the tip of the tool and the surface that you're going to be creasing. And in this case, by the way, I'm using Accent Opaque Digital Cardstock, 80 pounds or 216 GSM. So anyway, I put a coin on top of the material and then I drop the, the uh, creasing tool into the, you know, the opening on the, uh, the blade holder seat and then I tighten it firmly and then I remove the coin. So over in SCAL 6, I've imported my design, and then I have two layers, a score layer, which I have set to draw, okay? And then I have a cut layer, which is still set to cut. And then when I go to the cutter window, make sure the cut mode is set to WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get, very important. And um, you know, I had the cutter all set up. Make sure you use software speed and forces marked so you can make changes down here for your cut layer versus your score layer. Um, and then for cut line type, I have it, you know, set to cut. I have it set to cut cut lines. And then for force, for this particular cardstock, I'm going to use 65. Okay. And then score force doesn't matter. Now, I know it seems confusing because you're doing score lines. Well, this is when everything's going to be executed in one step and you're not needing to change out the tool, which is not true. This is used actually by sticker makers or if you're trying to cut through a very difficult material and you want to cut gently halfway through it and then increase the force, then you would be using this. But otherwise, this is not, in, uh, not applicable in this case. And then for speed, we can set the speed up here to, you know, like eight or nine. Um, and then, or higher, you know, kind of whatever you normally cut uh, material that uh, is of this weight will be fine. Then we need to come over here. Oh, before we go anywhere, this is very important. You need to set this as a preset. So click on this plus sign and then give it a name. And you may already have it in there, which is fine. But if not, then add it. So I'm going to add opaque card stock. Okay. Then, and later I'll show you why that's important. Then I switch over to the draw pen and then make sure, we, again, that this should still be marked and then enter your, your uh, settings. Now then, for something like 216, you're getting to the maximum weight of cardstock you're going to be able to crease with this particular kind of tool. So I'm gonna set this, in, but you can always increase passes and do some testing and see if you can get you know the kind of creases you need. But for the weight that I'm doing, I use two times and then I use a high force of about 155. Okay, and then for speed, you don't want the speed to be too high, but eight is probably still okay. Now that you don't have to make this a preset unless you want to, but uh, one thing you need to do before, and you need to make all of these changes first, then come back here to this draw, draw lines and set to draw, draw plus cut lines. Um, because otherwise, if you don't do that, then when it gets to the prompt, when it, when it finishes doing the drawing, it'll just immediately go home. It won't do the drawing. It's kind of weird that way. So make sure uh, this, again, is prompt. And then right before you get ready to click on cut, make sure this is draw, draw, plus cut lines. Then you click on cut. And then this window pops up, job one, which means it's going to do the scoring first because I can see my red pin color and I can see my score lines. I confirm that this looks correct and it does. And I click on draw and then it goes over and it starts uh, doing all the crease lines in, uh, in the top of the cardstock. And again, it's going to do each line twice before it moves on to the next line, which is the way multi-cut, you know, is meant to work. Now then, if, you not, if you're not using Shirkuzza Live, if you're using, you know, Leonardo, at this point in time, that's not possible. So what I would suggest is that you just duplicate your score lines on top of themselves. Make sure they're exactly duplicated on top so it'll do those two passes, okay? Now that when it's finished, um, it basically, this window will pop up. And then you may have something about, uh, cutting finish or something it's hard to say I, I never pay attention to these pop-ups but just read them but this should come up and then you'll see this cut line and this is where you need to change the preset because if you look down here this is what you use for scoring so I need to select my preset opaque card stock okay so these change then I can go ahead and over on the machine, don't forget, this is, you may have to leave a big sticky note on your desktop or something. Don't forget to change your tool out. So go over, take out the creasing tool, insert the, the blade holding tool, right? The blade holder, and then click on cut, and then it will proceed to cut out the shape. And then um, once you're done with that, you're ready then to remove it from the mat. 
Note that because I live in the desert, I pretty much have to tape all my materials down to the mat, even when the mat's sticky, because otherwise they come loose. Um, here's some photos I took, just kind of so you can see the crease lines a little bit better. And then as I begin to fold it up, um, just, you know, you can see the crease lines. It creased very nicely. And then also, um, then I just, you know, basically taped it up and made myself a little box.